Greetings once again from Rescue Shuttle Control. This is day 15, and uh, as usual, every fifth day, we step aside from our usual learning curriculum and have a, a day off to let the creative juices flow a little bit and uh, practice applying some of the ideas that you've learned uh, during the last few sessions. So today, I'll uh, remind you of some of the new techniques and uh, new uh, components that we've encountered and uh, encourage you to come up with some interesting or creative idea that you can construct and uh, post to the Facebook group. You'll uh, remember that uh, one of the new things we've uh, just learned about is how to use the keypad to provide input to the hero. In addition to the keypad, we also learned about the use of our buzzer for providing sound output. And uh, along with the use of the buzzer, we learned about the ability to create different tones by uh, feeding the buzzer with different frequencies. So uh, that was interesting and gave us uh, the ability to put those things together and uh, learn a little bit more about the programming logic necessary to create a primitive password checking system. So uh, that, along with uh, using some of our previously learned information about the uh, RGB LEDs, allowed us to create a, a nice little uh, password checking implementation. And that may provide you with some ideas for uh, a creative project of your own. It may be that uh, what you're interested in is the hardware side, in which case you might figure out interesting new ways to use the components that you've been introduced to. Perhaps uh, you'll figure out a way of creating different tones in a sequence that uh, plays a song or uh, does some other interesting thing with sound. On the other hand, it may be that uh, your interests are, are more towards the programming logic side of things. Uh, one possibility that may be worth your consideration is the fact that while we do have a password system now, it's pretty crude and it's um, not particularly robust against being broken into by guessing. Because after all, a person who doesn't know the password can guess each character one at a time and keep trying until they guess the right character. And so it might be an interesting exercise for you to design some code that requires the user to enter all four characters in the password before they learn whether it was a success or a failure. And that would make it a little more immune to a brute force uh, entry by guessing. And you may think of other ways of expanding the utility or the security of the password system. And so we invite you to go ahead and use your inspiration and perhaps the inspiration you get from others in the group to uh, come up with an original idea. So uh, that's it for day 15. Uh, please have fun and remember, build everything and invent safe.